The coronavirus pandemic has slowed auto industry, but manufacturers' plans to introduce electric vehicles continue. In fact, dozens of pure electric models are set to debut in two years. In this episode, we present several promising key players to be launched between 2022 and 2024. Before we continue, please subscribe and hit the bell button on for more informative automotive videos. Twenty twenty three Lexus RZ. First, the new Toyota BZ4X, then Subaru Solterra, and now the Lexus RZ. What a naughty triplet! All three SUVs share Toyota's ETNGA electric vehicle architecture. But while the Toyota and Subaru are readily identifiable as sharing a body interior, the twenty twenty three Lexus RZ stands apart with less awkward styling and an entirely unique and luxurious interior. It will have similar size battery too. The RZ450E is the first Lexus battery electric vehicle, or second if we count the Lexus UX300E launched in Europe. Sized like a Toyota Venza, the RZ features two motors, 150 kilowatt front and 80 kilowatt rear, and comes in all-wheel drive. The automaker estimates range to be up to 225 miles with 71.4 kilowatt hour battery. The front motor is nearly double the size of the BZ4X. That makes 214 horsepower and 248 pound-foot of torque, so expect it to be more powerful and quicker. The two-row interior features a large 14-inch infotainment screen and is topped with a panoramic sunroof. The Lexus Safety Sense suite is standard, packing the latest active safety features from the automaker, along with several clever innovations aided by driver attention monitoring. The Lexus RZ is larger than the Lexus NX in most metrics except height, suggesting better aerodynamics and possibly a sportier ride. Twenty twenty two Cadillac Lyric. Cadillac's first entry into the luxury electric vehicle market will be the Lyric SUV. Both single motor rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive models will be offered. The Lyric has been designed from the ground up and will ride on General Motors' new scalable battery architecture with a low center of gravity and a spacious cabin. Key benefits of the dedicated EV architecture. General Motors is launching a line of new EV battery technology with Lyric, called Ultium. The scalable technology allows the automaker to produce batteries that range in size from 50 to 200 kilowatt hour. Although the largest size is said to be reserved only for large EV pickup trucks, such as the upcoming GMC Hummer EV. The base Lyric comes with rear-wheel drive and has a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack with 340 horsepower and more than 300 miles of range. The Lyric's five-seat interior continues the theme established by the 2021 Cadillac Escalade. The luxury crossover SUV boasts advanced styling, although the body shape is more traditional hatchback than the sloping coupe-inspired four-door look. The Cadillac Lyric boasts a 33-inch wide LED screen incorporating the digital instrument cluster and infotainment center. 2023 Kia Niro. The redesigned 2023 Kia Niro EV will be a lot more noticeable on the road than its predecessor, thanks to intriguing lighting elements and two-tone body panels. The all-electric subcompact SUV also has a flashier interior. Kia extensively uses recycled materials inside. The new Niro EV again features a 201 horsepower electric motor feeding the front wheels. It will have a 64.8 kilowatt hour battery that the company claims should offer 253 miles of range. Inside the cabin, the Nero can be outfitted with dual 10.25 inch screens for the instrument cluster and infotainment system, as well as a heads up display. It will look similar to the EV6. Kia's designers have incorporated angled surfaces into the door panels and top of the dashboard. The digital instrument panel and infotainment display highlight the cabin's technical vibe. On the sides, the 2023 Kia Niro has edgy mirrors, 17-inch wheels, a contrast C pillar, and a distinct steel gray and black body cladding. This feature makes the Niro instantly recognizable, and it's not just an aesthetic feature. It enhances airflow and improves the vehicle's aerodynamics. The charging port is positioned between the front grills as in the previous model. Genesis GV60 Genesis is the luxury brand of Hyundai, and the GV60 is closely related to the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, 
That means it includes proven technologies, including the same dedicated electric car platform eGMP. All versions of the Genesis GV60 have the same 77.4 kWh battery, as you'll find in the EV6. Its rapid charging capability of 350 kWh allows it to go from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes if you can find a charger with such capacity. That is faster than the Tesla Model Y charging speed. The battery feeds two electric motors, one on each axle for all-wheel drive. Collectively, they deliver 429 horsepower and 446 foot-pound of torque, but hit the steering wheel mounted boost button and each motor receives a 27 horsepower uplift for 10 seconds, giving a total of 483 horsepower and 516 foot-pound of torque. Despite the GV60's considerable two ton plus weight, this is enough for a zero to 60 miles per hour time of four seconds, an expected maximum range of about 300 miles. The GV60 is more than just an Ionic 5 or EV6 clone in more expensive cloth. It's designed to offer you a far more luxurious experience and has an interior unlike almost anything else out there. Fisker Ocean Fisker is returning to the automotive market with its all-new Ocean Electric vehicle after being absent for about a decade. Features that seem likely to create a buzz are the optional solar roof, the 17-inch center touchscreen that can be rotated to be a horizontal or vertical orientation, and something Fisker is calling California mode, which lowers all the windows and retracts the roof panel at a touch of a button to create a convertible-like experience. It's expected that the entry-level pack to be around 80 kilowatt hour, with the larger battery to be more than 90 kilowatt hour. To reduce costs, Fisker will equip the front-wheel drive model with a pack that uses lithium ion phosphate, LFP, cell chemistry supplied by CATL. According to Fisker, the entry-level model will have a range of around 275 miles. LFP batteries are cheaper to produce and contain no cobalt, but have less energy density. That means the range of LFP batteries is usually less than a traditional nickel manganese cobalt NMC, battery packs. Tesla has been using LFP batteries in its lower spec Model 3 variants for more than a year, so the technology is tried and tested. Although the Ocean will have a 400 volt electrical system rather than the 800 volt system, Fisker claims that it will be able to DC fast charge at speeds up to 250 kilowatt hour. The Fisker Ocean Sport will have an expected 0 to 60 time of around 7 seconds, with an output of 275 horsepower. The Ocean Ultra will have an estimated 0 to 60 time of around 4 seconds with an estimated output of 543 horsepower. The range-topping Ocean Extreme and Fisker Ocean 1 will have an estimated 0 to 60 time of around 3.5 seconds, an estimated output of 543 horsepower. Chevrolet Equinox Chevrolet introduced a new two-level battery and a much more efficient regenerative braking system in the 2024 Equinox. Although it wears the Equinox nameplate, the 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV bears little else in common with the compact SUV. The Equinox EV's exterior styling blends futuristic touches with more traditional crossover design cues, and it looks stylish. Chevy hasn't yet released many details about the new SUV, but we expect a driving range of close to 300 miles per charge. Unlike the smaller Bolt EUV, we expect all-wheel drive to be an option on the Equinox EV which likely means dual electric motors and slightly more power than the 200 horsepower Bolt. Thanks for the visit. Please subscribe and hit the bell button on for more informative automotive videos. Stay tuned.